Hello and good day. Presenting Motivational and inspirational quotes From one of the most loved pastors in the world, the late, Reverend Billy Graham. Here are now 10 quotes 101 through 110. Let's get started with number 101. I realized that my ministry would someday come to an end. I am only one in a glorious chain of men and women God has raised up through the centuries to build Christ's church and take the gospel everywhere. Number 102. The cross is the suffering love of God bearing the guilt of man's sin, which alone is able to melt the sinner's heart and bring him to repentance for salvation. For he hath made him to be sin for us. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 KJV. Number 103. The heart of the Christian gospel with its incarnation and atonement is in the cross and the resurrection. Jesus was born to die. Number 104. A suffering person does not need a lecture, he needs a listener. Number 105. Why is it that the cross has become the symbol of Christianity? It is because at the cross Jesus purchased our redemption and provided a righteousness which we could not ourselves earn. Number 106. The gospel shows people their wounds and bestows on them love. It shows them their bondage and supplies the hammer to knock away their chains. It shows them their nakedness and provides them the garments of purity. It shows them their poverty and pours into their lives the wealth of heaven. It shows them their sins and points them to the Savior. Number 107. The Apostle Paul said, Be not conformed to this world. These words cut like a sharp sword across our way of life. They have the tone of the battle call in them. They separate the weak from the strong. But they are words of inspiration, and we need to hear them today. Number 108. It is often asked, How could the early disciples turn the world upside down when millions of Christians can't even keep it right side up today? The answer is they didn't conform their faith to match the world. They had the truth, and they refused to water it down. They had a faith that would not compromise. Number 109. Some Christian leaders are willing to give up some of the teachings of the Bible in order to harmonize Christianity with the other religions. Number 110. Satan's method has often been to imitate God. Satan is still using this form of deception, and often his representatives are being disguised as ministers of righteousness.